It's new tonight at 10 o'clock. An 80 year old man is recovering in the hospital after being brutally beaten and becoming the victim of possible road rage incident. The injuries to the man severe with doctors telling the family he has a long road of recovery ahead. CBS 7's Lauren Landman spoke with the man's daughter this afternoon. Lauren, what happened here? Jay Tatum, the man isn't really able to gather his thoughts right now, but what he is telling police is that he was traveling down the highway when a vehicle behind him began flashing his headlights. That's when he pulled over and that's when he said he was attacked. He's a really good person and anybody you talk to around Grand Falls, they all just adore him. I mean, he's just good. The man Charlene York is describing is her father, a man many locals in Monahans and Grand Falls know by name. How? Because he is the one who runs the Imperial Reservoir. They'll cook on their grill and they'll bring him a plate of food. I mean, it's just that kind of love for him that people have. But today, 80 year old Charles Butler isn't enjoying his little piece of paradise. Instead, he's recovering at Medical Center Hospital after being severely beaten in what police say could be a case of road rage. In our small town, we don't have things like this happen. Charles tells police he was driving home down Highway 18 after getting gas at the Allsup's convenience store in Grand Falls. That's when he noticed a vehicle following him flashing his headlights. Charles pulled over and that's when a white male began beating him through his car window. He was bleeding out his ear. He had multiple bruises. And that's just the beginning. Charlene says her father is suffering from a fractured jaw, a busted eardrum and bleeding in the brain. I don't understand it at all. I really don't. The incident leaves Charlene fearful, nervous and most of all hopeful for her father's full recovery. We're scared, uh, scared that they might come back, scared that we won't catch them, hoping they don't do it to someone else and just hoping that my dad gets over this. That's the main thing. As of right now, police only know that the suspect is a white male. If you have any information involving this case, please contact the Ward County Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers at 943-TIPS. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.